Now we're going to learn how to both graph the data and change the characteristics of the graph. The first thing that you want to do is actually grab all of the ID numbers and it doesn't matter uh, what the order is as long as all of the information has um, traveled with all the other information in each row. And in order to grab the other numbers, I need the control or command button held down as I grab the rest of the data. Whatever's on the leftmost side is going to be the X value and the others are going to be the Y value. That is always true in Excel. I want to graph this data, so I'm going to insert. It's a chart and the type of chart that I want is a scatter plot with just the markers. So we don't have um, uh, labels on our axes and so we're going to need to do that. So we can either choose quick layout and pick one that tickles our fancy or we can add a chart element and put the axis titles on both the primary uh, horizontal and the primary vertical. And so here I need to include my axis titles. This was the ID number. And then this is the sort ranking. And so now that I have this, I want to point out that you can actually move this legend from the bottom off to a side. There are lots of choices. So here, if you look at legend, you can tell it where to put that. I'm going to leave it where it is because I don't actually care, although I do have to have it showing somewhere. And the first thing I'm going to do is make this just a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see. One of the things I want to do is change the characteristics of sort 1 to red triangles. So I need to find the sort 1 data, which looks like it might be series 1 or these blue ones. So if I click on those, you can see that in the background it is actually telling me which data goes in, which information in the columns actually goes into this uh, data. I'm going to do a right click and format the data series. And in order to change the characteristics, I need to click on the paint can and choose marker. And I'm being told that I want this to be a red triangle. And so I'm going to look at my marker options. That's a built-in function. And so if you click on the type, you can scroll down and click the triangles. And you want it to be size 3, so you want to change the size. Now the color isn't right. Right now it's this sort of medium blue. And we want the triangles to be red. So I'm going to just click on red. And it looks like, oh, that was the border. And so I also need to change the fill to bright red. And now the entire triangle is red. And so your task is to not only change uh, the sort 1 to red triangles of size 3, but sort 3 and sort two to purple diamonds and or blue X's. I'll give you a helpful hint. If you have the X's, you don't actually want the fill turned on because then it'll put a box around your X.